Yeah. There's a fish. That's what we're looking for. Awesome, matching the hatch. So what we've got is we've actually got our hydro wave set on perch frenzy. We're actually throwing a perch bait because this system is known for the amount of perch that are in it. And right now we found today a bunch of perch minnows and what we're fishing is cabbage and these perch are relating to the cabbage and these walleyes are in there eating on them. I really believe that people overlook the walleyes in the weeds. And, and what we're doing is we're basically just snapping swim baits. Um, this happens to be a champ swimmer in the perch color. And then we have our hydro wave set on the perch frenzy. So what you find is, is where the bait is is where these fish want to be. Walleyes are predators. And that's really the, the true reason why I believe the hydro wave in itself is so effective is it creates fish feeding sounds but what it does is mimic the bait fish that these fish are targeting. So depending on where I'm at, last week I was on a river, so I used a lot of shad type patterns. Now I'm on a natural lake where I know this lake is known for its perch, and that's when I have my perch patterns set. And one of the things you'll notice today is, you know, we're fishing the weeds, but we've got a lot of noise. So the other thing the hydro wave does is really just covers a lot of those unnatural sounds that these fish are hearing, whether it be a trolling motor, whether it be waves slapping against the bow. When it's like these types of conditions, I have my volume up a little bit. And when the conditions are a little bit calmer or we have slick type conditions, then I turn my volume down. And what I like to do is when I'm setting up on these weeds, we try to find the deepest part in this bay and it's got natural cabbage. So, and that's what these fish are relating to. But what I try to do is, is get to the edge of the windward edge of those weeds where these fish are just sitting and they're just waiting for bait to swim by. So um, what we're doing is trying to target the edge of this cabbage and uh, we're just really just ripping this bait. So I've got it on a fairly large head. I'm throwing a three quarter ounce head and we're only in nine to 11 foot of water. And you say that's a lot of jig for this shallow water, but I want that reaction bite. So what I'm trying to do is get these fish to react to this bait. I want a real fast fall you'll notice I'm ripping it through the cabbage and a lot of times I'll feel that bite once I rip it through the cabbage those fish will hit it right when it releases from that cabbage or on the fall before it hits the bottom again. So I get asked a lot of times you know how do you set your hydro wave up so like in today's situation where we're drifting a big huge weed flat what I like to do we've got it on perch fen frenzy I've got the volume about three quarters right now and then I like to set the delay. I want those fish to hunt for that sound. So um, I don't want that constant sound so they just get accustomed to it. I want them to have to search for that sound. So I use either a 15 or a 30 second delay just depending on the situation. If it's real calm, I'll go with a little you know, longer delay. But like today with the noise and everything that we're fighting, um, I'll shorten that delay up and go to that 15 second. And I believe that a lot of times what ends up happening is they'll follow the boat looking for that sound. So this is actually perfect for this brake line today. We've actually got a wind blowing right down the edge of this. So what we've done, you know, now that we've got, we know where the cabbage is, we know where it sets up. Now I'm utilizing my live, my 2D sonar and my 360, just staying on that edge and making casts into that cabbage. So, um, utilizing all the tools that you have um, is definitely the key to being more successful on the water. There's fish. Oh no. Another beautiful central Minnesota walleye, deep inside the weeds. Look at that. I mean, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about matching the hatch. You look at that bait, it's absolutely gone. That's what these fish are feeding on, that's what they're looking for. 
and that's what we're giving them. You know, using these natural looking plastics, ripping them through the heavy cabbage, this is what it can produce. And I'll tell you what, it's an amazing bite.